Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. What makes Indian Su-30 MKI different from the flankers operated across the world is its beautiful and massive integration of indigenous weapons, sensors and avionics. A lot of new equipment has also been incorporated into Sukhoi fleet during the last two years including SPICE 2000 series of precision guided weapons which was used by Indian Air Force during Balakot Air Strike. The other three weapons integrated with Su-30 MKI which takes its class apart is BrahMos, Astra Mark I and Rudram I anti-radiation missiles. The BrahMos supersonic cruise missile launched from Indian Su-30 MKI can hit target up to 450 km in range and another version of this missile having a range of 700 km and beyond is under development. The long-range air-launched BrahMos can take down enemy air defense system by staying much out of their reach. The Defense Minister has also cleared the acquisition of next-generation anti radiation missiles for Su-30 MKI, which would enable them to strike enemy radars from more than 100 km ranges. In November 2022, ANI has reported that Indian Air Force has moved a proposal worth Rs. 1400 crore to government for acquiring Rudram next generation anti radiation missiles to search and destroy the enemy radar locations. Further, the integration of Astra Mark 1 missile, having a range of 110 km and a maximum speed of Mach 4.5, has brought back the air superiority in favor of Su 30 MKI. In May 2022, the Ministry of Defense has signed a contract with BDL for supply of Astra Mark I and associated equipment for Indian Air Force and Indian Navy at a cost of Rs. 2,971 crores under by IDDM category. In coming years, Indian Air Force has planned a series of upgrades on Su-30 MKI which is going to further improve the capabilities and lethalities of the fighter jet. In May 2018, the Defense Equation Council had approved the design and development of long-range dual-band infrared imaging search and tracking system in short IRST for Su-30 MKI aircraft under Make 2 subcategory and subsequently for procurement of at least 100 IRST under by IDDM category. In April 2022, HAL and BEL signed a contract for code development and co-production of the long-range dual-band indigenous IRST for Su-30 MKI. The proposed IRST system will be a high-end strategic technology product and will feature television day camera, infrared and laser sensors in a single window for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground target tracking and localization. It will be superior than the existing Russian IIST on Su-30 MKI. The design and development of IIST may take another two years. The new IIST will further enhance the long-range passive attack capabilities of Su-30 MKI and guide the infrared missiles. The AESA radar upgrade is going to be the most important for Su-30 MKI. Earlier it was reported that Su-30 MKI will be powered by gallium arsenide based AESA radar. In August 2023, it was revealed that the version of Uttam AESA radar proposed for integration with Su-30 MKI is going to be based on gallium nitride. The gallium nitride based radar are more efficient and consumes less power when compared to gallium arsenide based radars. The Uttam AS radar is being developed for Su-30 MKI will have much larger TR modules due to the large diameter of Su-30 MKI's nose cone. It is expected to feature nearly 1600 or more TR modules. The process of integration of Uttam AS radar on Su-30 MKI is expected to commence from 2026 onwards. The integration of Uttam AC radar will bring back the Sukhoi dominance in the sky in electronic warfare spectrum. The next component is DRDO's ASPJ, which is being developed on gallium nitride based solid state AASA jammer transmitters. ASPJ is based on active phased array ultra wide band. DRFM that is digital radio frequency memory and inbuilt cooling system. The DRFM jammers are famous for their capability to severely degrade the adversary's radar and missile seekers. ASPJ can even take input from Dhruti RWR and jam the source of RF signal. Cooling system 
is yet another important component of aspj which was earlier imported but now has been developed completely indigenous the aspj design for su30 mki is a podded jammer which will be installed on the wing tip stations 11 and 12 in lh and rh configuration as a set as per latest update from drdo the development of pod structure is complete and it is undergoing the qualification the next upgrade which is already in its midway is druti rwr back in august 2021 it was reported that indian air force is going ahead with rupees 1000 crore project for upgrade of rwr for the fleet of 125 su30 mkis again on 23rd march 2023 mod signed a contract with bel which amounts to approximately 950 crore rupees for 129 Dhuti DR118 RWR for Su30 MKI. Dhuti DR118 is a six-channel next-generation digital radar warning receiver designed and developed for installation on any fighter jet, transport aircraft, or helicopters. It intercepts and identifies airborne, shipborne, and ground-based acquisition, target tracking, and missile guidance radars up to the J-band frequencies. The identified emitters which is radars are indicated to the air crew by displaying corresponding set of symbols on the corresponding multifunctional display in the cockpit. A synthesized audio warning is also provided to air crew at the birth of each emitting source. The next upgrade is regarding the X guard to decoy. In Air Force has also planned the integration of X guard to decoy solution. which will help Su-30 MKI in defeating advanced target tracking radar including monopole and low on receive only radar types Indian Rafals are also equipped with X guard fiber optic tow decoy the low drag and lightweight X guard can be used in all operational missions in counter air to air and surface to air missiles It is stored behind the fighter aircraft and is deployable and retractable in the mid-flight. X-guard can be deployed either when aircraft approaches a threatened area or upon detection of an imminent threat. The decoy can be integrated with electronic warfare suite of any platform as a high-value active suite component. In the retraction phase, the decoy is returned to its position under aircraft's wing and reconnected with the pylon. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.